Yeah, it's perfect storm. And, and, and you said it. Tua's getting pressure on him as Brady's trying to bail out. When we know he does a great job in the pocket, maneuvering. You know, he, he eliminates pressure by just a little sidestep. Well, he's bailing out, can't get anything on the ball, which, again, it basically becomes like a punt. Yeah. I mean, Hayden's underneath. He can make that play mm -hmm. to, to R.C.'s point. Great coverage, great disguise. Really poor decision yep. by Tom Absolutely. Brady. Absolutely. Listen, pressure like that. If you can't put any mustard on the ball, you can't throw it. You got to eat it right there. Settle for the field goal. Move forward. You Jeff, can't turn do, it do over. Think, in do the you red think zone. taking the sack last week played into his mind Absolutely. a little bit? Said, you, you know what? Yeah. I can't get sacked right now. I got to get rid of the rock. Absolutely. You, it, you're, everything is speeding up for the Patriots. You're seeing them in these tight ball games. You're seeing them play, and what usually happens to their opponents? They mm -hmm. break down. They make the mental mistakes. They do things to lose ball games. Instead of win them the last two weeks, the Patriots have played that role and given teams a chance to beat them by making poor decisions in monster moments. Big win for the Steelers, as we just heard from Joe Hayden. From a psyche standpoint, <clears throat> why was it so big? That's, we got the three well, game losers, so we can understand, but it's more than that. It's so much. You talk about when, when speaking of the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers, even back to when I played and we were 12-4, right. 12-4, and 12-4, and four, 12 and four, number one defense, it always seemed that Bill Belichick and Tom Brady had the Pittsburgh Steelers number. And coming into this game, you figure that the New England Patriots, after losing the way they lose last week, they don't come out and make mistakes. They come out fired up and ready to play. But the Pittsburgh Steelers matched that intensity. The Pittsburgh Steelers matched that focus and made the plays that they needed to make in the end. And when you lose three games, and especially two of them to the right. Broncos and Raiders, Bad, teams right. you shouldn't lose to, this is important for your psyche that says we are the team we thought we were before those three losses. Yeah, my favorite part about the Steelers running the football. Taking it, running the rock, 140-plus yards. I mean, all, all of a sudden, here you go. You're going to be a physical football team going at the New England Patriots. Again, started fast with that run game. Now, all of a sudden, the Patriots are trying to play catch-up. It's a tough seat to be in when you gave one the last week. Yeah, it was a tough loss for the Patriots as well. I mean, the Steelers had a 60% chance to win this game, according to FBI. But the Patriots trying to maintain the two-seed mm -hmm. in the AFC now that belongs to the Texans. What in the world, I guess I've got to ask either one of you guys, is going <clears> on with this team on the road. They can't beat the Jags. They can't beat the Lions. They can't beat the Dolphins on that miracle play. And again, in Pittsburgh today, what is going on with this team that we are expecting to win anywhere, anytime, any place? Well, Father Time, right? And eventually it, all, it catches up to all of us. When you watch Rob Gronkowski and he goes two for 21, it's not just that, that he doesn't get the ball. It's that those plays we are used to Rob Gronkowski making, just because he's more talented, mm -hmm. more physical than other people, he isn't making. Those plays we're used to seeing Tom Brady make that he can make because he can diagnose the play before it happens. He understands right where to hit the defenses. He's not doing that as well. And you have a defense that's ranked in the 20s. I think so much we always look at what the New England Patriots have been offensively because of Tom Brady and think that he's carried them. But every time they've won the Super Bowl, they've had a top 12 defense. This defense right. is ranked in the 20s. And so when this offense isn't going and isn't making plays, this defense isn't doing what it has to do week in and week out to bail them out. And now you see what is a slightly above average team in 2018 that we're just hanging on to their glory days for them. Yeah, I, I could agree with you more. It, the Patriots have fallen in love with the same things that Steelers has and a lot of other they don't want to run the football. It's December football. You got to be able to run it, yep. control it with defense. They couldn't do that today.